Often, the most biologically diverse areas are also the most culturally rich areas. Identification of core protected areas must be informed by a combination of Western science as well as traditional knowledge from local Aboriginal communities. By making sure the approach to protecting areas is holistic and encompasses Aboriginal and treaty rights, core protected areas will help achieve ecological representation and will support Indigenous cultures through maintaining availability of vital natural resources such as cultural landscapes, traditional foods, medicines, and raw materials for cultural expression. Fred Sanger Sione, Tungo Yalnev Dene First Nation, Samba Geti, Sichek Hedzun, Willis Chena Gede, Tutsuna Hitsu Gede Sione. The land is still an important to the Dene because to us in the olden days we used to go go get our clothes. We used to go get our, our medicines, our food. The land was our home and it still is our home today. We don't disturb anything because it's pristine. That's the way we want it. It's the way nature uh, put it in its place. And because of that, you know, we're, we're using the land. It's, it's really important. Some habitats are very important as over time, you know, it created uh, biodiversity for wildlife and habitat. As Denny, we're starting to get a little concerned about what's in the home because some things are being moved around. If you're going to move in and do some development, do something, at least respect the person's home. Because there's things out there in land that we need too. The food is there, or the riches of our medicines is there, everything we need is there. But we're not being careful. Uh, some areas are being destroyed. It could be an important uh, uh, medicine plants, med rare medicines that could be destroyed and we may not know it. With all the trails, with with all the land use, with hundreds if not thousands of years of trails all over. And there's uh, sacred places, some areas that I know in my culture, that uh, there are temples that the Dene people use. Uh, the old area of the falls, the sacred waters north of here, the sacred sites. Some of these places are very old. And the Dene used to go and pray to these sites. These are churches and temples to us. Even uh, after a few thousand years, you know, we're still going to the same place. Our method of going to those places might have changed. We use boats and planes, uh, unlike in the past where we had to paddle or walk. But we still do the same thing. We're still connected very strongly to the land. The rivers that flow, we take care of the rivers. And all the food that she provides, fish to plants, we take care of them. The land cannot go on without the Dene, and the Dene cannot go on without the the land, you know, they're, they're one. That's the way it was in the beginning of time and it's still like that today. We, we don't believe in destroying the land because even a small area could be destroyed but it could have a, a huge impact on the community.